Okay, today's date, it is uh, November 6th, 2015, Friday. It's about uh, 11.30 a.m. I'm using the Logitech C930E for the video. And I'm using, of course, this USB headset for audio. Um, I just did a review for Amazon of this mouse. It's a $15 mouse and it really is excellent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack at the end of this video that I'm making right now. I'm going to put this on the end. If you're interested in an inexpensive mouse, you know, even if you have a good mouse, well, this is a good mouse. It really is. Uh, you might want to buy one of these and have it as in reserve if, you you know, something comes up. It's a good mouse. Anyway, I'll tack that review on the end of this. It's a review that I made for Amazon. Uh, well, by the way, I purchased this uh, myself. I wasn't sent it to review. I reviewed it. Um, I've got today coming uh, a new headset from Sadie, a USB one. And uh, so far, I've reviewed in the last few days two other headsets from Sadie. Uh, a USB one and then one that uses USB for lighting but uh, uses 3.5 audio jacks and both of them were extremely comfortable really great uh, more comfortable than these but I was not satisfied with the audio for YouTube and really for the headset the only reason I'm using a headset is for the audio, for making YouTube videos. Uh, so that's strictly, and this one is better. It's a less expensive one. Not as comfortable at all as the other two. And I'm getting a another one today from Sadie to review, and it's a USB, which is, this is a USB. So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to switch to that and have greater comfort. Uh, and have at least audio that's as good, if not better. Uh, have a total of three items coming today that I know of. And uh, I've got a, I still have a bunch of reviews. I cannot clear them out. Stuff comes in faster than I can send it, send the reviews in. I am, where is it, hidden someplace, my camera, here it is. I made a walking and talking video with my new camera. You may have seen that. You know, it, it made such good video. I think I, I'm going to make a YouTube video with it, you know, one of these videos. <clears throat> Put it on the tripod here and... Make it so I have one of those coming up. We'll see how that works. I'm, I'm sure the the video would be great. The problem is going to be how good is the, the audio going to be. Uh, this camera has everything going for it that I like, but it does not have an articulating viewer screen, and it does not have a jack so that I could plug in an external. Uh, microphone so we'll see how it does here uh, sometime soon I'll be making a video one of these type of videos uh, with it and I if you watch the video where I talked about this last week or two weeks ago I said you know this is going to be the last camera I'm going to buy and so forth and so on you know I'm uh, Uh, it's not something that came up, you know, recently. 
I've been thinking about cameras for months or years. You know, I'm thinking that if I'm going to continue to make these YouTube videos, maybe I should go with a digital single lens reflex camera. And uh, the, the Canon Rebel T5 or whatever might be the one. That's $400 on. I just don't want to spend $400 right now but I think I may you may be seeing videos from me one of these days <clears throat> using a, a digital single lens reflex camera uh, but let's find out what this uh, Panasonic DMC LX7 let's find out what it can do I don't think the, well, I just feel more comfortable if I can see my, uh, see myself, but it's, it's not seeing myself as much as it is being able to, you know, know that you're seeing something that I'm holding up or, or, or trying to say, I don't want to say whatever, which I say too often. If I had to take a drink for every time I said uh, whatever, I would be falling down to the floor intoxicated. Uh, what else did I want to tell you? Um, weather in Texas has been uh, mild, even a little bit cold at night, and uh, the rain has the rain has stopped. Um, my daughter, Hillary, from Sweden, wants to go to the zoo, so I think probably next week we'll be going to the, the zoo. I'm extremely exhausted all the time. I mean exhausted, totally exhausted. And Hillary's been cooking a lot of meals, and I'm up to 241 pounds. I don't think I've... I've been hanging around like 2.30. I'm up to 2.41. And the swelling in my feet and legs is worse. And so I just started today. I'm going to take my water pills, which I haven't been taking. So I'm going to be taking that. And so I don't want to be running to the zoo when I'm going to be going to the bathroom every 30 minutes. But uh, I'm hoping next week I'll... be up to going to the zoo with her. So you can expect some zoo videos. Uh, anyway, there was something else I wanted to tell you. What is it? I need to write down notes. I never write down notes. Well, I write notes all the time, but not notes that uh, for these videos, and I do. Uh, let me see. Uh, I've been using uh, YouTube Red, and I actually like it. And I actually, I'm not a music person, but I actually, uh, with YouTube Red, you get the, uh, their music. What do they call it? Not Sony Music. Is it Google Music? I don't know what it is. I actually been listening to it a little bit. Part of it is I was testing out the various headphones that I've been getting. And, but, um, what is that called? You know, I, I'm thinking, well, right now I'm getting the 30 day for $9, you know, free. So I'm testing out the YouTube Red. And so I was thinking I would just continue, I would continue paying that. But there is a service, a program that does a hell of a lot to help people who are making YouTube videos. You wouldn't need it unless you're making YouTube videos. But it just makes things that you do so much easier. Could save you hours and hours of work if you're making YouTube videos. 
and uh, it's nine dollars I think it is for the very basic plan and so I'm thinking oh man you know so I'm thinking oh, okay give up uh, the U YouTube red and but then I tried a few things and it, it works good for the all these different things that it does and I can't remember the name of it now when I remember the name, I'll stick it in the notes underneath. If in case you're somebody who's making YouTube videos, to check it out. But they also have a twenty-dollar plan, and then they have one that's more expensive than that. So I really need the twenty-dollar plan a month. I really think. But my God, that's about what I make a month from YouTube. So maybe I don't need it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Okay, what I have here is the Red Dragon mouse, as you can see here on the screen. Sells for less than $15 at Amazon. $15. It's uh, 2,000 DPI, has eight weights, six buttons, backlit, gold-plated USB plug-in. Uh, I'm not sure why I bought it. I think I bought it because it uh, just looked so good and at such a great price. I think also we my... Son and grandson play games all the time. And they have gone through, they've come, you know, and said, hey, have you got a mouse? And I end up giving them one of my mice. Uh, so I think I thought it might be good to have a backup. But this is what uh, I was using. The uh, revolutionary, let's see, the Cinti revolutionary pro and it's a great great mouse and I I think I just wanted to see what I could get you know for $13.99 and this is it and as you can see I'm actually I'm using it it uh, is simple looks good uh, only six buttons but that's really all I need it um, I don't know if that's going to show up it has a sort of a rough finish and I actually like it I like the finish on it for some reason and whereas all these others I think every other mouse I've always had I believe always has these slick you know, plastic finishes to it. Of course, I'm sure this is plastic with texture on it somehow. But I like it, and I'm using it, and uh, perfectly happy with it. Um, if, you know, right now I've got a spare mouse. If, uh, I'm, I might just order another one of these and, have it here in case somebody needs a mouse and this is what I would order I think not really into uh, gaming I play Civilization 5 and been playing it for a long long time and that's I don't play it competitive against you know, I just playing it against myself and this uh, works fine for everything that uh, I'm doing a nice, nice mouse. Feels good, looks good. So if you're looking for an inexpensive mouse, this, I would recommend it to you. This is it. I guess I don't need to show you the box since you can actually look at the Amazon website. 
I give it a thumbs up, give it five stars, recommend it to you.